All right, I uh, put together a, a uh, quad after I seem to have lost my previous one, which was at Baytech. Um, still up in the trees somewhere with my GoPro camera, unfortunately, but I have no idea where it is. Uh, in any case, I tried to build this one for under $200 to keep the price down since uh, I better get my piloting skills, uh, you know, honed before I go and spend money for a FY91 like the other one had on it for a control board. This is a KK board. <clears throat> I think I picked it up for 20 bucks. I lost my uh, receiver, uh, so I've got this one here, which is just a Corona, which I picked up, I don't know, $20, $25 or something. Uh, the whole thing was probably under $200. Uh, picked up an old, not an old, but a, a new X Aircraft uh, 450 frame. It's really tough, and I thought with my piloting skills, maybe that would make some sense. I probably would have bought the DJI frame um, had I found that one in time to make this thing, but it wasn't available at the time I bought this one, so I got this one. Uh, just some inexpensive ESCs. They're the uh, Hobby, Hobby Wing uh, 20 amp. Um, I don't know, they run about 12 bucks a piece or so, and I got some Turnagy motors, which are, um, I think, 950 kW and APC props, um, and that's just about it. Uh, one of the things I did do is I, I picked up a, a, a battery uh, alert, so it let me know what the voltage is in the battery, uh, and give me an, a warning if we start getting low. And I also got a lost airplane alert, which is what this thing here is. Um, I had to remove it because either I've got something hooked up wrong or uh, or it's defective uh, because it beeps after a minute no matter what I do so uh, for some reason it's not working properly so I've got to relook at that in any case I'm gonna go ahead and hook everything up and see if it works do a little tie down test see if anything's backwards and go from there I'm gonna turn on my, my transmitter first and hook up this thing Now with the KY board, you need to take the uh, throttle and keep it to the far right before it'll it'll uh, come off of its safety. So we'll just do that. Blue light comes on, and see if we got power to all four motors. Two. All right. Let's just check out some of the throttle positions before we do too much here. This should be forward. and left and right so I guess I'm gonna have to check those uh, connections and reconnect them here if that's wrong So the aileron and the elevator are backwards to begin with, because I had to cross those wires. And now I've got cross channels, so I've got to reverse the channels for some reason.
seems like it might be working. It's hard to know here. The last board I had was at FY91, which was really nice and actually seemed to be pretty sensitive um, and very responsive, I guess is the word. I'm not sure about this one. Actually, it looks like I might be ready to try a hover on this thing. Okay, I guess the next thing will be to tighten that board down and try a hover test. See what happens. <laughs>